Hello everyone, welcome to GS Podcast. Today we are going to discuss about BioRock technology. So let's see what are the topics that we are going to cover in this section. So first one, we will discuss what is BioRock technology. Second one, we will understand the process of BioRock formation. After that, we will discuss some of the major applications of BioRock technology. And finally, we will discuss a question which have been asked in prelims this year. So let's begin. Now let's understand what is BioRock technology. So this technology is used to protect coral reefs by building rock-like material beneath the ocean. So it is a process in which a very low voltage electric current is applied through the seawater. So this causes the deposition of crystalline salts of minerals dissolved in water. And these deposited crystals are present mainly in the form of calcium carbonate that builds a certain structure on, this, uh, on the waterbed similar to the naturally produced coral reefs. And these form structures are called as biorock, which is very strong and long lasting that provides suitable habitats to corals. Now, as you can see in this given figure, this is a complete biorock structure and it is a kind of steel structure installed on the seabed through which a very low voltage electric current is applied and that trigger a chemical reaction in the seawater similar to that of electrolysis and by which minerals mostly calcium carbonate get deposited on this steel structure so this structure can act as a base for the corals to grow again. Now let's understand this process in detail. So as you can see in this given diagram, a very low voltage of electric current is passed between a positively charged anode and a negatively charged cathode placed in the seawater. So this results in the electrolysis of saline water generating the calcium ions and carbonate ions and that adhere to the cathode forming a layer of calcium carbonate that is very important for the corals to grow. Now after that this biorock structure is applied in the region of coral reefs and sandy beaches where the calcination forms other new structures and coral larvae attach to them and grow rapidly. So this is how formation of calcium carbonate takes place. Also different uh, type of marine species needs habitat of different size and shapes. So biorock structure can be made in different forms as well to help uh, in the survival and growth of different species including corals, seagrass, oyster and the other marine ecosystems. So this is the process of biorock formation. Now let's uh, discuss the major applications of biorock technology. So first one is coral reef preservation. So it facilitates the survival and growth of coral reefs by providing suitable habitats and improving resistance to the environmental pollution. And they also help certain marine species to recover from damage and grow at faster rate. Further, this biorock process creates the ideal condition for different forms of marine life that are under threat of climate change and environmental pollution. Also, corals growing on biorock reefs have better chances of survival as compared to the other areas. Now, uh, the next application is in protecting the marine construction. So, the advantage of biorock is in repairing cracks and damages by filling with cement like hard limestone or calcium carbonate. So, it has useful applications in reinforcing steel and concrete structures in the waterbed. Now, next application is preventing shore erosion. So biorock structures are used as breakwaters 
that slow down heavy water waves using the force of friction. So, this helps in the shore protection as the waves pass through these structures with less force and avoid erosion of shores. Also, these uh, constructions prevent waves from continuously washing away sand and hence it prevents shore erosion. Next application is sustaining marine life. So, biorock technology is used to prepare specially designed structures that favor the survival, growth and healthy living conditions for various marine species. Also, biorock system provides new ways of sustainable aquacultures by providing suitable habitat and food for fishes, lobsters and other marine creatures. So, these are some of the applications of biorock technology. Okay, now let's see a question which I have been asked in prelims this year. So, the question is, biorock technology is talked about in which one of the following situations? So, here four options are given. Let's see option number A. That is, restoration of damaged coral reefs. So, as we have already discussed, biorock technology is used to protect coral reefs by building rock-like material beneath the ocean. Hence, option number A is correct. Now, let's see option number B. So, we know that deposition of calcium carbonate takes place by the process of electrolysis in biorock system. Hence, option number B is incorrect. Now, let's analyze option number C. So, biorock technology helps in coral reef restoration and sustaining the marine life. So, it is not used for any purpose of exploration or extraction of shale gas. Hence, option number C is also incorrect. Now, let's see option number D. So, biorock structures are installed on the, uh, on the seabed beneath the ocean for sustaining the marine life. So, it has nothing to do with wild animals or forest protected areas. Hence, this option is also incorrect. Now, the correct answer for this question is option number A. Okay. Now, if you have any doubt or suggestions regarding this question, please write it in the comment section and you can also download the PDF from the description box. So, stay tuned with us for such more interesting GS topics. Till then, thank you everyone and have a nice day.